Alrighty, hey guys, it's iTipster here, it's John. Today I have a case review for you guys, but before I get into that, I just want to let you guys know that I am using my mom's Canon PowerShot to film this review, so hopefully the quality of the video will be a little bit better, and the most importantly, my voice won't be so muffled, as in all my other reviews. So let's get right into this. Today I have the iFrogs Lux case for the iPod Touch second generation. So as you can see, I do have the red ruby color, but they also include three other colors for you to choose from when ordering from their website. You got the royal blue color, you have the neon green, and then you have the medium magenta. So they have four different colors for you to choose from for this top piece. This part is always going to be black, but you can make this color uh, um, different um, depending on which color you choose. And this case does go for around $29.99 on the iFrogs website. So let's get right into this. As you can see, I love having that little hole right there. It's really easy to take the case out, and then the case just kind of slides out like so. And here it is, guys. Very, very simple packaging. This piece comes off, and you do get the case itself. So here it is, guys. This is the iFrogs Lux second generation case. Very, very nice case. And as you guys can see, that is a deep, deep red. Now, when I said red ruby, it's not, they're not playing around, guys. This is a deep, deep red. You guys can see that. It looks amazing. It's not one of those cases where that you can barely tell it's red or it's a very, very light red. This is a deep, deep heart red. I mean, it's blood red almost. Very, very nice case, and as you guys can see, it is a two-piece case. You got the, the matte finish, the black on the bottom, and then you got the solid, so like, it's more of a slippery uh, plastic on top. And I'm really into that, so those slider cases nowadays, so this is a very, very nice case. So let's get right into this. To take this case apart, all you have to do is you can see how there is this button right here. So all you do is you press that button down, and you literally just slide the case apart. And as you can see, there's two pieces. So let's pull this part off, lay that down, and peel, peel the other piece off. So there it is, guys. And as you guys can see, it does come with a cardboard iPhone, and then it comes with a screen protector. So one thing that I'm really impressed with with this case is that I love how on the inside, it does include that really nice velvety texture on the inside. They did include a little velvet layer so that when you're sliding in your iPhone, it does not scratch, iPhone or iPod, I should say, it does not scratch it because this inside, this is an, a plastic case. And on, on the bottom, you do get that as well. And on the bottom, as you can see, there is that little iFrogs logo right here and the 2G symbol right there. It's kind of hard to see, but you guys can make out that little section printed out right there. And as you guys can see, I know you guys will be asking me that, but you can see that little white section right there. That does not affect the case whatsoever. It's just a minor defect. They sent me out two of these, and so the other one did not include that. So it's just a minor case defect when they were creating it, which is not a problem. It doesn't bother me because you're not going to really see the inside of the case too much. Uh, and the other thing that I really like is, as you guys can see, you can make out how there's like a rail. See how it kind of bends out like that? That's so that when you're sliding in your case, your volume rocker doesn't get like like caught on the inside and it does go around the entire case and on the bottom as on the bottom piece as well so as you can see right there perfect little cutout like that so let's get this case on right now all you have to do is I'm just gonna polish off my Kate my iPod first you don't really need to that much um, the only thing on your iPod at least because you do have that nice little velvety texture in here I like to go on the inside here though because dust can get in there and I don't want to scratch up my iPod whatsoever So give your case a nice little wipe before putting it on and here it is guys So I usually like to take the top piece first and it's very easy to get on because as you guys can also see There is a little rail that kind of comes over to hug the outside of your iPod And all you do is you really just put it on like that and then all you do is you just slide it on very, very easy to install that top piece. Now for the bottom, it is a little bit tricky, and um, it kind of downgrades the case a little bit, maybe one or two points out of ten, just because um, it is a little, a little bit of a hassle to get used to. I was not used to it, and I thought I almost broke the case at first because it was a little bit harder to get on. But let's get this case on. I'll show you how to do it. So all you do is you just take that little part, and as you can see, there are all those two little tabs on the ends. So all I do is you just take the piece on like so, very common sense, and just push it till it gets around there. Now what you want to do is you want to flip it over, and as you can see, these two little button and this little hole are going to start aligning. And you also want to make sure that these tabs on the outside don't overlap because if you don't press these guys in they will overlap and they might snap so what I do is I hold the two pieces in like so and then I take these two top pieces and kind of push down a little bit so as you guys can see there is that little section right there which you don't want to get caught so you just go like that you push down 
and you slide it on, and then once it gets to about there, you can just go like that. And as you guys can see, sometimes it make, might make a little popping sound, which means it has fully installed. But that's about it, guys. Pretty simple to get on. And um, the one thing about this case is that when you first get it, it might take a little bit of wearing and tearing just to start, you know, to wear the case in. Because when I first got it, it was very, very stiff and very, like, rigid. And so it was a little bit tougher to get the case on. But once the case gets to know your iPod form pretty well, it gets pretty easy to take it on and off. So as, as you guys can see, very, very nice. Very, I mean, it looks, it borders the iPod beautifully, and I love how you have that red on the little black strip, and I'm a black again. And guys, I will tell you one thing. This case feels amazing in the hand. The reason why it feels amazing is because you have this matte finish on the bottom, this black piece is a matte finish, and the top is a softer, like, sl more slippery plastic, so together it's just an explosion of goodness in your hand. I mean, five stars for explosion of goodness, down there, guys. So, I mean, guys, it is amazing feeling in the hand. So, as you guys can see, the cutouts are 100% perfect for this case. As you can see, the headphone jack, the dock connector, your volume rocker switch right there, and your sleep wake switch are all perfectly cut out, guys. There is no hassle for pressing that volume rocker switch. Very easy to access, which is a very big plus. Uh, most case, Some cases aren't like that at all, and it's actually hard to get to press. And as you guys can see, I mean, it looks amazing. Let me give you a 360 degree view. So here we go. There's the side, the back, the side and the front, and then you got the bottom and the top. So it is a very, very nice case. The thing that I also love is because since it is a plastic case, you do get the benefit of when you're slipping it in and out of your pocket, when you're pulling it out, it's not hard to like, to slip it in and out, that's what she said. It, it's not, some cases are a little bit like, tough to get slip into your pocket, and they do seem to like, to like, attach the sides of your pocket, like a lot of silicone cases, but this does not do that, and it's very easy to take out, and also, you do not get any lint on this, it is not a lint attractor, because it is that plastic, which is a plus. Very, very nice. And also the thing I really like about this case, it is pretty much dockable. When, I, when you take this little cord right here, and you try to plug it into your iPod, there is no hassle in getting that in. It's just a quick, easy little plug-in, and it's in there 100%. It's not coming out, and it's a perfect cutout for that, as you guys can see right there. And also, if I take my dual dock charger, let me grab that. So here's my dual dock charger, guys. It is not plugged in, as you can see, my iPod is off in it. But um, when you're plugging into your dual dock charger, I mean, it docks in your dual dock charger without having a hassle, with no hassle. You don't have to take this bottom piece off or anything. It plugs in perfectly, which is a huge plus. Now, let's say you do have an iHome or something that is stubborn and will not let you apply this case on the iPod when you want to dock. All you have to do is just take this little piece off, and you can dock it. And then when you want to take it back on, you can just take this, take it off, you can just pl plug that plug that bottom piece back on. So guys, it is a very, very nice case, guys. I recommend all you guys go check it out. It's ifrogs, I-F-R-O-G-Z dot com. Go check them out. Link in the video description that way. Um, there is a little bit of drop protection as well. Not as much, though, just because it is a plastic case, so it's not going to absorb as much, um, like, shock, because it is not like a silicone case. But yet, it is still a very, very nice case. Now, here's the tricky part. I'm going to take it off for you guys. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to press this little button. Now, noted, when you first buy this case, it is going to be a little bit harder to take on and off, because like I said before, there's a little bit of a, a, little, a little bit of a break-in period when you're taking this case. So as you can see, there it is, guys. It slides off. This top piece just kind of slides off like so. And same with the bottom piece. That slides off like, ah, so. Now, one thing is, guys, that this case is a little bit harder to apply um, than most cases in a takeoff, which uh, it's kind of a downer because... Sometimes, you know, if you just want to put on a case, you just want to be able to slip it on and go. So you do need to get accustomed to putting this case on it, taking this case uh, off and putting it on, which is kind of annoying. But, you know, guys, out of 10, I'd give this case a 9. It only downgrades the case by one point just because of that taking it on and off. But, I mean, guys, they include a magnificent case and a screen protector, so you can't really go wrong with this case, guys. Like I said, guys, it comes in four different colors. It comes in the red ruby, comes in the royal blue the neon green, and the medium magenta. Go check them out, guys. ifrogs.com. Link in the video description that way. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I want to thank ifrogs, um, or I think it's Michelle, for sending this case out to me. Um, and uh, have a great day.